know at all. What?
Yeah. Satisfied after this. I still do not understand why it is they are fighting. With the next strike, this will finally be behind us. <laughs> You're as good as I hoped. Nothing beats this feeling. You don't think we're finished, do ya? Yeah, with your face in the dirt. <sighs> They're still at it. They can't even hold their monstrum forms anymore. Those two never cease to amaze. This reminds me of how Kratos was when he first fought Shadow Eye. No, I think he's even more determined now. Oh! What is it, Krisha? Is it just me? Or is Kratos' darkness starting to fade? Huh, maybe it's because he's not in his monster form anymore. How about it? Are you done yet? Like hell I am. <clears throat> You've got to be kidding me. I can't lift a finger. That is the consequence of succumbing to the darkness without knowing how to control it. But it's impressive you've lasted this long while carrying it inside you. I suppose you have Shadowlord to thank for that. Huh? What are you on about? For a long time, your only goal was to defeat Shadowlard. Your determination offset the negativity of your darkness, helping you maintain a balance. When Shadowlard was killed, your goal was no more, and your determination faded. That's when the darkness regained its control over you. What? There's no way in hell. You are a homunculus of a warrior known as a berserker. Their strength and darkness were two sides of the same coin. Does this sound familiar? <laughs> Since I was a kid, I was good at just about everything without putting in much effort. For a long time, I didn't get how people could be dedicated to anything. But that all changed the first time I got myself into a sword fight. The fear and thrill I felt as I eluded death with every swing of my sword. And then the ensuing euphoria after surviving the life-threatening ordeal. For the first time, I felt alive. I had finally found meaning in my life. Not long after that, I watched Sister Lisa die right there in front of me. After that, Things changed. I started challenging strangers, anybody who could put up a fight. I could only feel alive when I was staring death in the face. Contrary to what you believe, you're not a fighter, Kratos. <sighs> what 
did you say? Being good at everything made you feel like nothing was worth dedicating yourself to. But then you finally found something. Something you couldn't pick up right away. For the first time, you felt the desire to improve yourself. A desire to improve, huh? The satisfaction you feel stems from overcoming your weaknesses. This instinct is the very darkness inside you, and the source of a berserker's power. There's a thin line between conquering the darkness, and being conquered by it. You're not making any sense. At this very moment, as you lie there helpless on the ground, what do you feel? Pissed off at how I didn't stand a chance against him. If you were truly angry, would you be smiling? I'm... smiling? Perhaps you feel like you found what you were looking for. You might even feel gratitude toward your opponent. Huh? You must have felt the same way after you lost to Chatelard. I was... grateful to him? Warriors like you need a fair fight where they can realize their fullest potential. As long as you understand this, you will never be swallowed by your darkness again. Things are often simpler than they seem. You need only to change your perspective. <laughs> Dr. Noah told me something. He said that Chatelard and Sister Lisa were childhood friends. What? It's possible Sister Lisa asked him to watch over you. I am as much to blame for placing you in that orphanage to begin with. I'm sorry, Credo. For everything. <laughs> That's a whole lot of jabbering just to embarrass me. For someone they call a saint, you sure are a pain in the ass. I give up. You win, alright? I guess I can stick with you guys a little longer. Good. Welcome back. I have you to thank, Adol. Now, we can face the Grimwald Knox as a complete team. <laughs> it appears all is well now. You guys really had me worried. Hey, how's it feel to be dragged home by mommy after running away? Come closer and say that again. Um, I'm just happy that Kratos back. Yes, I think we all are. I need to speak with you all about what's to come. Let's continue this discussion at the Dandelion. Adol, would you please carry Kratos? Not in a million years. What's the matter? Big boy Quato can't walk on his own? You little shit. Enjoy it while you still can. <laughs> <laughs> Always happy to help. Are you okay? What? Don't look at me like that. Just thought I'd say thanks. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure. Aprilis said the same thing. I'm usually against thanking people for doing things I didn't ask for. But I figured I owed it to you two. Anyway, take it or leave it. Doesn't matter to me. think? I still haven't given up looking for a decent place to kick the bucket, but I guess I do feel like a weight's been lifted off my shoulders. You can sleep easy knowing I ain't gonna be losing control and slicing people up anymore. Well, 
Lisa? What does she have to do with anything? <sighs> Fine. I guess I do owe you an explanation. But it's not gonna be the answer you were hoping to hear. Lisa cared about me more than I deserved. She always listened whenever I had something to say, even the trivial things. Thinking back on it, this power of mine awakened after she died. Hmm. If she were still alive, I'd probably be having a drink or two with her right now. Chatelard too. Guess this is what happens to people who get too close to me. That goes for you too, Adol. Don't say I didn't warn you. <laughs> you think? Well, after our duel at the arena, I think I learned a thing or two about you. And now I found a new appreciation for fighting. That super grimwalled Nox or whatever can't come soon enough. Personally, I don't have a problem with this curse sticking around. <sighs> I guess wanting an excuse to fight is in my blood as a berserker. At the same time, there's only so much I can take of this city. Traveling and fighting all over the world doesn't sound so bad to me either. Then... <laughs> You're kidding, right? That's a hard pass. I'm just gonna enjoy the upcoming fight. I'll figure out the rest when it comes. Huh. 